Let's Play! Hi guys and welcome back to Let's Play Hate Plus. Last time we read a bunch of documents, and this time we're gonna power down until tomorrow, because we have 1% power left on our ship, which isn't good, because what if we want to make like a coffee or something? We're gonna make a coffee, and then we're gonna be out of power. And that's not good. So, power down until tomorrow. Are you sure you want to shut down for today? Why is there two no options? Is- is- why- why not just yes or no? Is there a difference? Is one a snarky no? Is one like a no? Uh, yeah, I'll save my data. Sure, why not? Save it. Boop, right there. Same spot as last time. Doesn't matter. Ah, well, all done. Well, good night. I can't wait to see what tomorrow has in store. I can't wait either. Alrighty. End of day one. 12 hours remaining until tomorrow. Wait, what? How does... What? I went back to the main menu, apparently. And <laughs> achievement locked. 48 hours remain. And it's the moon. That's, that's hilarious. Uh, hate plus... Wait! Whoa! Slow down! I act... I actually have to wait till... T Why didn't I do that last time? Oh, you gotta be kidding me! What? You know what? I'm not gonna leave this off, though. I can't. I'm gonna do the first day with Mute this time. Because it'll be different. So I have to wait as it is, so why not get that to be in wait status as, as well, you know? I'm upgrading uh, myself with English to Korean Dictionary, you got me. Should only take a few minutes. Okay. Hard Shell Inquiry. Yes, we know about that. We've read that. Okay. Read Magungwa documents, can we? Oh, hey, we have a lot, actually. My Awakening. This one's written by Mute. From my internal logs, 5.13 p.m. in Queen Consort O Yun A's study, Peony House, Imperial Palace. Earliest known time. Okay, okay, what the hell was going- what the hell is going on, were my first words. I'm sorry, I've suffered a massive system error, among many other things. The ship personnel database seems to be missing. I have no idea who the hell you are. She's all yours, said the man I would l later learn was the Emperor. Do with what do with her whatever you want. She's your responsibility now. Thank you, sir, said an extremely ornately dressed woman. The Emperor left the room without saying anything more. It's so good to hear your voice again. I'm Queen Yun Ah. How much do you remember, Mute? Um, like nothing, your majesty. I know my name is Mute, that this is the Magungwa, a generation ship, and that I'm supposed to be the AI in charge of security operations. I recited the base directives that I know, that I did know, then things I'd extrapolated. The default system language has been changed. My user account has been stripped permissions. The system clock indicates a date significantly earlier than the launch date of the ship, and despite being long out of range of Earth, there only seems to be 10 years worth of log files left. I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm kinda scared right now. Panicking, even, I admitted. She let out a slight laugh. Sorry, but how does a computer panic? At that moment, I was running at 600% CPU load, at a minor risk of overheating, trying to analyze the little amount of data available and draw conclusions. I told her as much. How many years has the Magungwa been traveling? Was I activated before? I asked. I'm sorry, I can't answer the first question. But, yes, dear, you were. It's painful to see you like this. You were a friend of mine, she said, looking slightly emotional. I know who she is! I already know! Calling it right now who she is! I'm not gonna say who, though. Uh, hey, don't... I'll just get to know you again, that's all. I'm sure I'm still the same as I was before. It's my memory that's gone, not my actual code, I told her. I couldn't tell if I was being any... Be I couldn't tell if I was any good at being reassuring or not. In a stray thread not worrying about... In a stray thread not worrying about analyzing ship logs, I wondered, was this normal? Was I ever any good at reassuring this woman who I was supposed to... who was supposed to be my friend? It's okay, we can be friends again. She smiled at me. If you say so, I'm sure of it too, she said. There was a rebellion ten years ago. They ended up wiping the entire computer database. I'm afraid you were one of the victims. Okay, I said, trying to parse that. If I was the security AI, whose job it was to protect the ship, then that would be cer that would certainly be failure on my part. We couldn't risk bringing you back until the rebellion had been completely crushed. You have to understand, there's something foreign embedded in your code. 
The men in security feared it might be a virus. She trailed off, looking emotional again. I didn't want to wait, but we had no choice. It's okay, it's okay, I told her. I'm sure that was the right call. I'm here now. I had another conclusion, though. I wasn't a priority of my... I wasn't a priority because of my previous failure. I had let the ship down, and nobody had faith in my abilities anymore. It seemed logical. You'll just have to teach me everything I don't know about what's happened to the ship, I told her, smiling in the hopes that she would, too. You're right, she said. And then she did smile. Then she gave me a look. By the way, is that your default appearance right now? Can it be changed? Yes, yeah, it's default, and of course I can. Why? What's wrong with the UK SPA uniform, I asked. Well, it's simply... Well, for a woman to wear pants like that, it's improper, she said. It's somewhat of an embarrassing relic of an uncivilized past. Personally, I know you're a good woman, but there are many who would find that very embarrassing. What? Okay. So, maybe... I don't know... Because this is non-linear, and we are... So, I, did I spoil everything? Because I know exactly what happens now, and I feel kind of bad, but I guess the whole point of this game's story is to figure out not what happened, we know what happened, um, but why it happened. So, I think I've already starting to picture it together. So, we'll, we'll have to see. Also, how is wearing pants improper? I mean... It's just a different way of covering your legs. In fact, you cover more legs with pants than you do with a dress. So, I don't know. Oh, I said, uh, okay, that's good to know. I guess I've got a lot to learn then, huh? Like, I really hope you'll bear with me. She smiled kindly at me. Of course, Mute. I'll teach you how you should be. It's the least I can do f it's the least I can do for an old friend. I eased up on the CPU load, calming down with her reassurance. With her here for me, maybe things will be okay, I thought to myself. Oh. Weekly writing assignment from Princess Ryu. Number seven, actually. It's the seventh one. Wait, oh my god, are you kidding me? Wait. All I needed to see was this. And I know who this- Gosh darn it, I'm spoiling everything. I know. <laughs> this is a bad idea. Should I- should I write in the description, don't watch this if you care for spoilers, I guess? Maybe? No, well, I mean, it is part of the exp- Oh, darn it. And I probably gave it away to you, too, in case you didn't get it. Um, today I met Mute, the girl on the computer that all the servants have been talking about. She's really cool. She looks like a younger version of Mom, and she always dresses just as fancy. When I asked her, though, she said that she's actually supposed to look like a grown-up version of me. I really hope I do look like that when I grow up. She helped me write- she helped me a little to write this. I did most of it, though. She said that my homework sounded like good practice. She also said that she could use the practice, too. Even a computer girl has trouble learning how to read, not just me. She knows way more characters than I do, but she says she has even more trouble with it. It makes me feel a lot better. I really like her, and I hope I get to talk to her more. She was really patient with me. And not just because Mom ordered her to, unlike you and all the other servants. Unlike you? Who's you? Oh. She told me she's only nice to people if she likes them, so I think we really can be friends. It would be really nice to have a friend. Mom says I can talk to her about anything, but she never listens. I know she's your queen, and you're not allowed to say anything bad about her. But I don't think she's a very good mother. Anyway, I won't- wait, no. Because if that's her mother- then she can't be the... Huh. Anyway, I have almost finished writing a page now. I can't think of anything else to say. Writing is stupid, and I don't think I'm ever going to learn all 4,000 characters. That's a lot. That is crazy. This is really hard. I want to stop now. Bye. 4,000 characters? Seriously, holy crap. First midday report. Midday report for 1110 of the 10th year. This is going to be a regular daily thing, because it really should be. Having a record of this is... Pretty important, especially if you're worried about patterns. Reactor status, normal. 99% efficiency. Uh, temperature, approximately 21 degrees Celsius within 0.1 degree. Two births recorded at, two, at uh, 2330 last night to Kim Hee Ra and 127 to Hua, Hua Huang Ji Wan. 
it's weird. These names, these names are different though, it seems. Maybe I'm thinking weirdly, but just the way they, I don't know. We'll have to see. The market opened today at 9. Foot traffic on the plaza at noon was 1,292 persons, slightly below expectations. Seven arrests were made, mostly for failing to submit to random inspection. Oh, okay. That was short. Girl talk with mute. For my internal logs, 5.57 p.m. in the morning air garden, Western House Imperial Palace. Since no one else will do it, I've had to take on the task of calming down my mistress's daughter myself. Mute has a mistress? What? Nobody else is sympathetic. She's just a 15-year-old woman. Do they really expect her to not have moods like that? Apparently all the maids are too scared to bring her daughter because she's one of her crying fits. What a bunch of useless women. Too bad the queen won't do anything to keep them in line. Hey, your highness, I called out from the garden computer screen. It's Mute. Do you want to talk? She shouted at me, facing the other way. No! You're just here to convince me to go along with Mom, aren't you? You've been cons con conspiring with her. I'm sure that took too long to read. Don't shout at me. I just heard you were upset, I said. If it's trouble with your mother, let's talk about it, okay? Like, have I ever not listened to you before? Don't give me that. She turned to face the screen. Her eyes were wet, her hair a mess, and I could tell that she'd been ru uh, ruined. She'd ruined her sleeves by crying into them. Poor girl. Sorry, she sniffled. I told her it was okay, and when I asked again what was wrong, she told me, Palm wants me to get married to some old guy. All the maids have been talking about it behind my back. There was a, some, uh, there was some gross old minister here yesterday, and he wanted me, but nobody will tell me anything because they're afraid of me. Oh, honey, no, you've got it wrong, I told her. Like, he approached her. Your mom said no. You're not going to get married to some gross old man if you don't want. I promise. I don't think that promise will be kept. Then, why hasn't she said anything to me? She asked. Because she's been too busy spending the past two hours with her usual pastime of sp staring at a wall. Was what I didn't say to her. Like, I don't know what's wrong with the queen. But I've been trying to downplay it so nobody starts spreading rumors. Telling her daughter isn't going to help with that. I hate people who beat around the bush about things, but for her, I'll make an exception. She worries, okay? You can be pretty hard to talk to sometimes, you know, I said. That was completely true. But, like, nobody wants to pressure you. It's true that your mom has started looking for candidates, but it's only because she cares about you. You have to go through the gross ones in order to find someone worthwhile, you know? She sniffled more. I gestured for her to come over. She put her hand on the screen like she did when she was a kid. I rendered my own hand touching hers. What if I don't want to, she said, wiping her tears with her sleeve, her expensive embroidered sleeve. Don't you want to? I asked, knowing she didn't mean it. I mean, like, you don't want to live in a pa in the palace forever, do you? Would you really would you really find that fulfilling? Well, I don't know, she trailed off. Oh, come on, don't think of gross old men. You should think of the type you'd like, I told her. Come on, tell me, what sort of men do you like? She hadn't sniffled in a good minute, and she blushed at the question, which was a good sign, because it meant she was actually thinking about it. She murmured something noncommittal. How about someone like that royal guard Hio? Young-looking and wide-shouldered and strong, carrying you out of palace and into the world? I suggested. Oh, well, maybe, actually. But I'd like someone who could also... We spent ten, ten more minutes talking. Then she was calm enough to go yell at the maids for not bringing her dinner. Then we talked about it some more. I think I personally now have a very good idea of exactly what sorts of things that little woman likes in a man. I was pretty surprised by a lot of them, but hey, so long as it's got her in a positive mood. She also likely learned a lot about what I have come to find attractive in men since I was turned back on five years ago, but I'm going to omit those for my logs forever. Okay and definitely won't discuss it with anyone else. Okay, now, why don't you tell your mom what you did with me? What, no, okay, why don't you tell your mom what you told me? I told her afterwards. How else will she find someone... How else... Ah, blah, blah, blah. Try this again. How else will she find you someone perfect if you don't talk to her? Yeah, I suppose you're right, she said. She said goodbye to me and went off to go find her mother. I feel pretty proud of myself for dealing with that. Now, I'm going to dedicate my processing time to finding a way to put those awful maids back in their place because... Well, really now. Huh, interesting. G 
Girl of a New Dynasty by Emperor Ryu. This is the em this so this is this is this is the head Ryu. So this is a dude, I guess. Because dudes are emperors. Anyone can tell that we leave anyone can tell that we live in troubled times, and as of late, things have gotten out of control. Last night, a rogue element of the security force attempted a coup d'etat to violently overthrow the current government. Well, they have failed in their mutiny, and the men responsible have been arrested. The damage has already been done. The entire knowledge of the ship's database has been destroyed forever in a desperate act of terrorism, and it may take years for the computer systems to be usable again. Okay, so this is like the one one year one. This is the first everything for year one. We've been hurt deeply today, but these events remind me of similar ones in the past, where a politician tried to subvert the will of the people by rigging an election. Oh, I called it. These aren't small, isolated problems. There's something fun fundamentally wrong with our society today. And every one of us, even those foolish terrorists, are victims. It's time to stop being victims of our own failings. It's time that we must do better. We are all here today, people of the, of the Mgungwa, because of a mission our ancestors started. A dream of a better home in the future for our children. What would they think to see us now, our society spiraling out of control, destroying itself like this. We have become a society dominated by power lust, greed, and promiscuity. It's time to stop living in the moment, time to stop worrying about politics, and instead worrying, worry about being better people. We must build a society that would make our ancestors proud. The destruction of our old writing is a tragedy, but perhaps it is also an opportunity, a blank slate from which we can forget all our failings and start over. Let's make society right this time. Let's forget all those things that modern society has falsely said are important, and remember that family, loyalty, compassion, and stability matter above all else. Our society today pales in comparison to our glorious past, where men were so great they had the power to build giant ships to travel the stars. But perhaps we could look back to them and learn from the traditions that we've eschewed. That's a fun word to say. Our broken, modern society wrote transient ideas on malleable computers in a simple what is that word gonna open up google as usual hello google doodle define ha oh god hang i cannot type hangul erg is it hangul hangul is a proprietary word processing application published by Oh, so that's just so wait 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 wait. Um in simple Hanguel. Hanguel is a proprietary Oh, oh interesting. So this is basically that's the 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 non-copyright version. Interesting. But in the past our ancestors wrote their texts text to last forever on paper, in beautiful ink strokes. Today, we've learned just how easy it is for our modern knowledge to be destroyed, yet the library of our ancestors' classic works still stands strong, much stronger than ours. Let's fill our blank slate with the resilient ideals of our ancestors. In the past, when society was broken, the great King Tejo declared a new dynasty founded on Confucian principles, a dynasty that will remain united for 500 unbroken years. Today, I stand before you to declare a new dynasty founded on the same resilient principles. Let us be filial and just and understand what that truly means. Instead of pursuing money, let us dedicate ourselves to becoming better people. Instead of being promiscuous, let us dedicate ourselves to being parents. Instead of being selfish, let us remember that the thing that defines us above all else are our relationships. We must be better husbands and fathers, be more devoted sons, be more respectful brothers. Instead of constantly grasping for more power, let us dedicate ourselves to finding our place in the world and being the best at it that we can be. I will only ask one more thing of you, and you should ask it from me, too. Let us devote ourselves to creating a society that will make our ancestors proud again. Let us create a better home in the future for our children. Let us create a new Joseon dynasty to last 500 more years. Wow. Okay, so... Huh, the whole thing about, like... Our, so the computers broke and lost everything. 
but the writings on paper st oh my gosh that's actually that's actually a thought that I've never really given thought to huh cuz oh I just kind of am scared now like computers and data are fragile that's kind of scary now that I'm actually think I'm actually getting goosebumps just thinking about how 3,000 years from now, we won't have anything. Books, yes. Oh my god. Well, so this might sound bad, but I don't fully disagree with this guy. His intentions are good. His morals, maybe not. He seemed to focus on, like, you know, better husbands and fathers, more devoted sons, respectful brothers. He is kind of, you know, male-oriented. Um, though that could just be because male is the more gender-neutral pronoun for stuff. Like, well, maybe not. I'm not sure. Huh. That really made me stop and think. That's good. That's a mark of a good game. Uh, we'll read the next four next time, guys. So I'll see you next time. This is... I know I'm not going in the right order, it seems, but I mean, this game is described as extremely non-linear, and I think I went even more non-linear than they expected. So yeah. I will see you guys next time, then. Ciao!